everyone welcome back today we are doing the second half of my september journal flip through so if you haven't seen part one there is a part one it was a couple of videos ago so if you want to watch part one this first half of september you'll need to go back to that video which wasn't too long ago i think maybe like two three or two or three videos ago one or two i don't know i can't remember anymore don't remember how many i posted in between times but it wasn't very long ago. So if you would like to see part one, you can jump back there. I'm just grabbing a pen out. I've got my little note paper so I can take notes of anyone I mention throughout this video. Um, yeah, so let's jump in. So we did this page. This was halfway. You can see this is where the two signatures meet. I'm in this very junky journal that I made for myself out of a um, envelope mailer. And I loved this journal. This journal was so, so good. So let's jump in. So this is the second half so at for this i'm going to just immediately jump off and say um allison from aj's inspired life her challenge for this month her item of the month was using words so i was using pretty much pretty much only like magazine i also use this like die cut word here but i also had some magazine words there so i was using magazines pretty much predominantly for that challenge uh, and you will see words on all of the pages this is also a sticker this is one of my patreon mail stickers um yeah so this day was the day that i was asked by kia which was so lovely if i wanted to be a part of the halloween journal challenge this year you guys will have seen that video already it's already up and out so this was the day she messaged me about that so i'd written about that um my sister was getting baptized soon at this point so she had asked she was um going to contact our church about it and so she'd asked me to kind of proofread what she'd written so I've tucked a copy of that inside this envelope here um so that was very cool I filmed a journal with me for YouTube later on I was watching at this point and that's right oh we were supposed to get a lot of snow so I went and got some firewood um there's a whole lot of firewood at my one of my parents like big sheds on their farm and uh we're allowed to go and grab some from there and my car is like just like a regular sedan car so it's not the best for getting firewood in but I just bring like four big tubs with me and like they each tub sits on like the front seat and then the three back seats and I just fill each of them with wood and drive it home that way it's kind of tricky but I don't have the ability to pull a trailer on my car so I just do what I can do uh, so I was getting wood because we were about to have snow the next day and we didn't have very much so I knew I wanted some wood I was watching the circle this day and I was feeling like an old woman which is why I have this great image on here because um they were calling all of these young have you guys seen the the Netflix show the circle it's like a real reality tv show it's one of my preferred reality tv I'm not really into the like I don't know most of them I'm not so into but I am into the circle it is very fun and I haven't actually finished it I need to go back and finish it because I watched up to where they had got up to and then I haven't gone back to see the new episodes that they put out but um I was feeling like an old woman watching it because they were all calling someone on their grandpa and he was supposed to be 34 and I was like are you kidding me <laughs> 34 is not a grandpa age I mean I guess it technically could be it's pretty rare though I would say that there's many grandparents at 34 but I mean I guess it's possible but still because he was he was the old one it was a catfish so he wasn't actually a he but um he was this woman was playing this guy um I just I couldn't believe that they were calling a 34 year old grandpa that made me feel so old I'm not 34, but I'm not close. I'm not far off of 34, so it, that was crazy. This day we had a snow day. Oh, I love a good snow day. Um, so James, uh, James had to go to work anyway because there wasn't that much snow. It actually came in more in the nighttime, more like that evening after he came home again from work. And this was some photos I took. Well, there are actually some screenshots. I'd taken some videos. Um, of us outside and this was James walking around on the lawn trying to catch snowflakes in his mouth and then I had this video of myself and this was the exact moment that a snowflake hit me in the eyeball and <laughs> I was like wincing closing my eye because a snowflake had hit me right in the eye um so that was fun I put those on here it looks like I must have done some baking oh I baked lemon blueberry blondie that day yummo for dessert um that was so nice this piece 
I had found this piece floating in a magazine or something somewhere or in a book I can't remember um and it said choose uh, 17 Tuesday September 2013 and this year was the 17th on a Tuesday of September so I'd like been holding on to it for a couple of months being like you need to make sure you use this in September because it's perfect. It's lining up perfectly and it has this fun cat watching the TV. Um, and this old school TV, I absolutely love it. We had a TV like that when I was growing up, just so similar to that. Um, and I liked the little quote there. I don't know, I just really liked it. Uh, I was working on some journals for lovely Karina. I'd had a um, commission to make some journals for her so I was working on that and I think I finished it these day this day here so that was very cool um I stamped out a few of these little mice to send to someone in the mail Paula I sent you know that you've seen them now I, I was stamping them out on this day to send them to you in your mail um and I stamped one out for myself and popped it in here too so it makes me think of you Paula um this was also the day I was making these patchwork journal cards so I popped one into the pocket there. And there's my words for the item of the month there. I mean, there's also some here. But more. Uh, this day, this day, I actually love, this is the spread here. I actually really loved this spread. At first I was like, huh, I've got no photos for this day. When I have no photos, I'm always a little bit more unsure what I'm going to do to make my page look interesting. But I absolutely loved how it turned out. I've got this like weird reflective strip sticker on here it's cool in this cool coffee this like olivey yellowy green is just one of my top tier fave colors at the moment um so i loved how that looked um i've got these cute stamps on here everywhere oh i just loved how it turned out i really loved this orange this like really bright ready orange um paired with this like green color everywhere i just really loved the combination of colors um so that was very cool. And my word I think that I was using was paracetamol. <laughs> I don't know. I don't seem to have any words stuck down on here. It might have been that I used this. Or I've got this sticker. It's got words. I used this piece of packaging because I had to descale my coffee machine this day. So I used the bit of packaging from the descaling stuff there. Um, talking a lot here about glazing because if you know me, you know pottery is a love of mine. And I particularly love glaze combinations and I think about them all the time I just love pottery I think I'm gonna really have to get do a big deep dive more even into pottery for next year because I'm just absolutely obsessed with pottery at the moment making it oh it's so much fun I did put up a little pottery I'll I'll link that below um pottery video in case any of you guys are watching this but didn't see my pottery studio blog little video I made I'll link that down below as well so that you can watch that if you're interested in pottery also um what else have I written about here um I'm thinking I sent some mail did I I don't know I haven't actually got any I can't see it here but I'm guessing I sent some mail out here because I've got a international air mail sticker there oh I got my Patreon mail finished today and I couldn't believe it because it had taken me three days to get my Patreon mail completed and that was my fastest time ever and I was so pleased with how it all came along. Um, I was, that's right, this day it's Amy, Amy Yol, I'm guessing is how you say her name. Um, I'll link her, she's on YouTube as well as Instagram but it was on Instagram that she had posted something in her stories about using up your stickers and I really loved it. And she said, sticker preciousness is a disease. To which I say, get well soon. And I loved that so much. And then she challenged people to use like six stickers in the next 24 hours. And I don't think I probably, I mean, I probably actually did. Look at, I've got one, two. Oh no, this was just on the envelope. Maybe I didn't. Um, but I thought that was so good. What she was saying about like, don't be precious with your stickers, use them. I really liked that. So um, I wanted to note that in my journal. These are the sorts of things that I think are important to write about in your journal. Things you're thinking about. You know, my, my pottery glazes. Something I saw on Instagram that, that piqued my interest, took my fancy. Mail I was sending out. Like, none of these things are like, whoa, what an exciting life you have. I mean, I read something on Instagram I liked. And that was what I noted about. I was thinking about pottery glazes. That's what I wrote about. A lot of people say... My life is so boring. I couldn't possibly journal like you do. Your life is so interesting. And I laugh at you because, not in a mean way, I laugh kindly at you because, because 
Uh, my life isn't that interesting. I just write about all of the inter uninteresting things. And if you write about them, they all of a sudden somehow become more interesting. So write about a lot of uninteresting things and you'll find that you are actually very interesting and you have a very interesting life. Um, no one's life is like yours. So that's my little note for you today. Um, this was talking about a car hire that we were going we're going to do in a few weeks. Next day, finished up this packet of coffee and I really loved the little cafe scene on the packaging. So I stuck, I mean, I actually stick in my coffee packaging quite often. Working on all sorts here, some beads and a bowl. I was working on it pottery this day. I was texting with Laurel and Kayla this morning um so hello Laurel and hello Kayla I was messaging you this day um I filmed three videos this day so that's pretty good going um I what was I doing here oh I was making my October journal that was the videos I was filming this day so that was good um I was having a bit of a hard day. I was looking back through my October and November journals from last year and that was just, that was quite emotional for me because that was during the roughest part of my pregnancy last year, which ended up in my daughter being born at 21 weeks and passing away a few hours after she was born. So it was a very, it was a very high risk pregnancy. I knew that. Um, and it was scary and we were in the hospital a lot. And I was just sort of reading all through that and it made me feel quite sad and kind of sick and oh, it was, it wasn't very nice to read it. And I was thinking about the fact that I often say, write about your days, you'll never regret it. And like sort of thinking, wow, this actually makes me feel unpleasant. Maybe I shouldn't have written about this. But then I also thought, I actually love that I have this written down, even though it's quite hard emotionally for me to read. I still wouldn't want to have lost all of this information. And there were parts, a lot of my November journal that I hadn't actually ever filled in. And I am sad that I don't have that, that stuff. Um, so I still stand by what I said. You won't regret writing it down. Even if it is hard for you to read back on, I don't think you'll regret having it there anyway, because it's still a very important part of my life that I don't regret having documented. So I want to tell you that too. Um, so writing a lot about all of that in here and how that was hard, but I'm I'm grateful that I have it nonetheless. I got this wonderful happy mail from Melanie today, which was just so generous and sweet and kind. And I stopped myself from unboxing it because I didn't have time to film an unboxing, but I was kind of going to just like peek in there and look through it. And I, I sort of did have a quick peek on the top and then stopped and thought I need to film this so I made myself not but this was I'd, I'd seen the note in there and I'd read that so I've just put the little envelope there and isn't it beautiful I love the colors on this page too actually this like beautiful orange and the pale blue and this like kind of dark burgundy kind of red color coming out a few times I really like it really like that combination of colors these two pages might be my two faves I don't know I really like them this was me sending out my patreon mail and I was talking about more glazing because I was at pottery this night and I love pottery and glazing. Finished off my scotch fingers. Big fan of scotched fingers. Scotch fingers. I said scotch, I think. Scotch fingers. They are delicious. Who else loves a good scotch finger? They're basically just shortbread, I think. They're lovely. Really enjoy them. Are they just shortbread? If there's a difference, let me know. Um, okay, this day, this day was the day before my cousin's husband's birthday party that was there, so I was kind of somewhat preparing for that. Um, I filmed the unboxing from Melanie this day. Oh, that was so lovely and I appreciated it so much. I spent some time catching up in my one little word journal. I'll write down one little word. That's Ali Edwards. Um, absolutely recommend that course to anybody. I actually need to film my next little flip through of my next section of the year for you guys as well. If you guys are interested, let me know. Um, I'll probably film that sometime soon. Um, so I finished up a bunch of that content for August and got that done. And then I was texting a friend of mine and she had told me that it was National Muffin Day at this shop in New Zealand called Muffin Break. 
they decided it was National Muffin Day. I don't think it actually is everywhere, but they decided. This muffin shop, Muffin Break, decided they were going to do a muffin day. Across New Zealand, all the muffins were going to be just $2 for Friday the 20th of September. And she told me that her husband was finishing work early that day um, and that they might go get muffins. And I thought that that sounded so lovely. Um, and I knew I needed to make something for a picnic lunch for the next day. So I made decided I'd make myself a big batch of savoury muffins. And that made me think of the show Miranda. Who else watched that show? I loved that show. And that moment in that show where she says, A savoury muffin! Life is full of enough disappointments, Gary. And that always, every time I hear the word savoury muffin, I think about that part of the show where she was so disappointed in the savoury muffins. And so I printed that out, of course, and added it in with a photo of my savoury muffins and with the marketing thing that I'd seen online about the $2 muffins. So that's there. I planted um, some marigolds in my garden or in a little garden box thing this day. And that was so nice. Um, I moved, I weeded all of the planter box because it was horrible. And there was one little chives plant in there, but the whole planter box, the rest of the things in that planter box had died. The chives were still living on. So I repotted the chives into a little pot and weeded all of that planter box out and planted five marigolds in there. And it made me so happy. Um, so I put these little flower stickers on there to denote my marigolds. Um, what else? Oh, this here was, uh, text, my sister and I were texting about my mum's birthday presents and we had sausages for dinner and we watched an episode of Chaos on Netflix and then this was a quote said because today is the special occasion that's why the loveliest food the cutest dress the happiest china plate use it all and share it too because you can't take it with you despite all the plans we make we only ever really have today um and I thought that was a very good quote and something I believe is true but struggle with so want to work on getting better with like using my best things wearing my cutest outfits and um you know, all of that sort of thing. So that was a nice quote, which I just put onto a little card here. This pocket was made by Melanie. I ended up using one pocket here and then one pocket on the back of it. I kind of backed them onto each other to extend this short page out that I had. And I love it. It gave me nice little pockets to use on both sides. So this day was my cousin's husband's 40th birthday party. And it was a surprise party. Uh, and we went out to this beautiful beach um, I live on a peninsula kind of out the side of the South Island. It's called Banks Peninsula if anyone's interested in Googling. Um, and it's an absolutely beautiful place. And we have all of these gorgeous bays. We're like surrounded by ocean and mount like hills everywhere. And it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I really am so lucky to live here. I love it. Um, so we went to one of the little bays around the uh, area and spent the time at this beautiful beach. Um, this is a photo of my husband with my nieces and one of my cousin's kids on his knee because he is so good with children. He's such a lovely guy. This was him having a sand fight with all of the kids. There was like a million children in there and he got involved and had a big sand fight with them and the kids just had the best time. It was so lovely. Um, so that was nice. This is a photo of my little Freya, my niece. Um, she was just looking so cute. I had brought my proper big camera with me because I needed to take some photos for my cousin. Um, she always likes me taking photos of her kids when they turn nine months old. I don't know. It's a weird thing. It's, I mean, it's not... It's weird because I. it's not something I have... It's not used to it for me. Wow, my words. And her husband's family, they have a tradition that they take have professional photos taken when a child is nine months old because apparently nine months is when a baby is at its cutest. I would have never have guessed nine months specifically but that is what her husband's family does so she does it too. Um, and so I take the photos for her of her children when they turn nine months old and so I was bringing my camera because it just made sense to do it while we were together this day and so we did that and this, I, so I took some more photos of people as well. So this is my husband here after the sand fight. He's covered in sand. This was my niece with one of my cousin's kids. And then this is my niece. You guys, if you've been around for a while, you might know that Freya loves herself strawberries. It's her favorite. She loves strawberries. 
and so this was a photo I took of her eating a strawberry at the party. This is my sister with her two kids, Freya and Hazel. Fre Hazel's little hairstyle is so cute. And then this is a little photo I took of Hazy um, as well. So that was very cute. It was a very fun day, very exhausting day. And then this was just a cute piece of scrapbooking stuff that I had of these children playing at the beach and I thought it was perfect because there were so many children all at the beach this day and they were all in the water and just having a ball so that was very very cute next day was just a real relaxing day for me because I'd had such an intense day this day I'm I am very introverted and need all of the recovery time after something like that so I spent my morning editing all the photos that I'd taken the day before um, and then I also I was talking here about the new editing app I'm using because I've decided that I can't justify paying for Photoshop anymore. I used to be a professional photographer and I absolutely, if I still was, I would be paying for it. Photoshop is by far the best for photos, by far. Um, but it's so expensive now. It's just gotten out of control expensive for me. And for the fact that I only use my big camera now like a couple of times a year and it's always when I'm doing jobs for people for free that I, I just can't justify spending like $450 to do like two free jobs a year, you know? Um, so I am using some free software, which is the Canon editing app. And it's okay. It's okay. It's definitely not like Photoshop, but it's free. So you kind of expect it to be a bit worse. And it's definitely worse. But... This is just my thoughts on that app as a replacement and how it's definitely worse and I don't enjoy using it nearly the way I enjoyed using Photoshop, but I save $450 a year by using it. So it's you weigh up your pros and cons there and in the end I'm falling on the free app because I can't afford that kind of money for something I barely use. Um, and I yeah, I was loving the photos I was take, I'd taken of Freya and Hazel. Excuse me, I'd be wanting a need more coffee. It's very cold. It's okay. Um, and then I was just sort of unwinding. It was a sunny day. I was outside playing on my Switch um, for quite a long time. My cat was looking like a real cutie. Um, these are some lily plants that I have in pots out on my deck. And she was just like sleeping under the lilies. And she looked so cute. So I took this photo and I had this. This piece was in my capsule. It's just some old packaging from stickers or something that I've had somewhere. Um, and I thought it was cute that it's got this like little frame part that you can just see my little cat in there. And then you can flip it up to see the whole photo. And then I've got this cute sticker of a cat with flowers. This was my item of the month word. I used this little tag. This was also from my capsule for this month. How cute. It's just like a part of a book page. I think it's very cute. Um, I was filming a little video for Paula. Paula, I sent you that video of the lilacs this day. Um, and I was really enjoying all of the lilacs coming out. And they're just, they're starting to die down now. It's sad. I love lilac season and it's so short. It's not even, it's about a month of lilacs. And it just goes like that. And then they're, they're going. Can't believe it. Um, I wrote a little poem here. And I had a curly whirly. And I watered my plants. And we finished off these yummy cookies. That some people that James works for. Had given him. They'd given him these two packets of cookies. From this really like expensive fancy bakery. Well I, ex I assume it's expensive. I've actually never been there. But I know that it is in Fendleton Mall, and that is, uh, everything's expensive in Fendleton Mall, so I'm assuming they're expensive. Um, so, um, yeah, so we finished off the, oh, I'm thinking of Merivale Mall. Where is even Fendleton Mall? I had that so wrong in my head. It says Fendleton Mall, and I read Fendleton Mall, but in my head I was thinking of Merivale Mall. I don't actually think I... Oh, I do think I maybe know where Fendleton Mall is, but I assume it's still expensive. Fendleton's an expensive area um, in Christchurch City, so I assume they're expensive. But we had these lovely two packets of cookies, so one of them were like covered in peanuts, and they were they were all right. I did like them, but there was just maybe too many peanuts. It was almost exclusively peanut, almost no cookie. Um, and then there was the other ones, which were like a Shrewsbury cookie. Like they were like a shortbread with like a jammy center and they were so yum. I loved them. And I need to try and like figure out how to make myself just a shortbread and make a jammy center for that because that was delicious. I think I, and it, oh, 
this is actually a revelation that I'm having right in this moment. Is shortbread one of my favourite cookies? Maybe, yes. Because I love the Scotch Finger, which is basically a shortbread. Last year, or maybe earlier this year, I ate these shortbread cookies that had cranberries in them. And they were top tier delicious. So were these with the jam. I think I might love shortbread even more than I knew. I knew I loved shortbread. I knew that. But this is... Very interesting thoughts. I'm going to just write down on my list, which I will not put in in my in my notes below, but I'm writing down shortbread because I want to think about shortbread more. <laughs> you guys are here for the revelations. Um, here we go. So this was the day that I became obsessed with Ella Nim. Uh, her name is Chris, but she goes by Ella Nim on YouTube. I will link her below. This was, I had already started liking her stuff, but this day I really like fell into the rabbit hole of obsession with her and I followed, I think I signed up for her Patreon this day, maybe just fell in love with her videos. Oh, I just, I love it. So Chris, I love your videos and I think you're amazing if you watch this. Uh, so James went to work and that's right. He asked me to clean the kitchen and I looked in the kitchen and I was like, there's two things on the bench this is really bizarre that you've bothered to ask me to clean the kitchen today there's nothing there um <laughs> it was such a weird weird moment uh it was a beautiful sunshiny day and I was loving how many warm days we were having I had some salami and cheese and kiwi fruit for lunch outside on my veranda um did some journaling in the afternoon did a bunch of laundry my laundry and all the towels and I repotted my little lavender plant this day um, I, my lavender had been in this tiny little pot and I had this bigger one available. So I repotted it up into a bigger pot. Was I reading this day? Oh yes, I finished my book this day. I was reading Just Like Jesus, a, a biblical book this day and I really liked it. So I had this little flap here with this little reading cat. Fallen in love with watching Ella Nim on YouTube recently. Her media journal, it looks so cool and I'm so inspired. And I signed up to her Patreon, which I was immediately glad I did. I, what I particularly love about her, Chris, if you're watching this, this is me just going on a big gush session about how much I love you, um, how passionate she is about things. She just talks about things with so much passion and excitement and enthusiasm, and I just love people who are passionate about things, so I just really enjoy her channel so much. Uh, I made a big pot of veggie stock this day and we had, oh, we had roasted pork belly for dinner that night and I love that. So yummy and we hardly ever get it. I got more wood because we'd used all of our wood, you know, if I can only fill up a few little boxes in the back seat of my car, it doesn't take long to get through it. So I went and got more wood this day. Um, We were watching The Gentleman on Netflix and it, I think we must have, oh no, this might have been our maybe second episode or something and I've written, it's not my usual style of show but it is good and I'm just so unfamiliar with that kind of lifestyle that it's so wild to me that people ever live like that. It's, it's crazy. Um, And this is my chicken and my cat and that's my socks that have been dumped on the deck because it got so hot and sunny outside. This day, this was the day I filmed my pottery vlog. So you guys maybe heard me talk about that earlier. This was the day I filmed it. So that was the 24th of September. I went and got a coffee for myself from this cafe called The Common. And I got a voucher for a friend of mine's birthday. So that was nice. Uh, I picked up the voucher. Um, that was perfect. And I went to the studio and I filmed, oh, I had my blood test first. So I went and had an appointment at the doctor's first, had a blood test because I was pretty sure I'd be low in iron. Um, but I've had the results back and I'm almost low in iron. Almost, but not enough for them to do anything. So that is lame. Um, so I got myself a cappuccino, got the voucher for my friend. And, oh, there was the person who was... Um, working in the cafe I actually know her from pottery I didn't know she worked there so that was I've only met her a couple of times but that was nice I filmed the vlog of my session and then I went and sat out on after I finished there I went and sat out at the waterfront so if you've seen that little video you might have seen the little clip of me at the waterfront afterwards got my my Hobonichi out had a book which was Austin Cleon Still Like an Artist um that I was reading that and that was really fun. I had a pie for lunch, so put the sticker of the pie in here. And I was doing some bird watching at the waterfront, which was very nice. 
um, and I was adding them into my bird watching app, the ones that I'd seen. I want to fill up my whole bird watching app. I want the app I use is called Merlin, and basically you can download the list of birds that are from your area. So I've got a New Zealand based list. And I eventually want to tick all of them off. I'm so terribly inconsistent in using that app that I've barely ticked off any. Even ones that I probably see every day, I haven't ticked it off because I don't think to go in and say, I saw it today, note it into the app, you know? I don't pay enough attention. Um, but when I do, I love it. And I really want, that's called a life list on the app. And you kind of have to tick off all the birds you see. And that's your life list. And some birds are much more rare to see than others. And I just feel like it's quite a fun little game for myself to look for the birds and so my life list is tiny at this point but it is very fun and I want to make more of an effort to sit outside and just watch birds more um so I ticked off a, a couple of birds on the life list at the waterfront so that was nice because I live up on top of a hill so the birds I get at my house are very different than right at the sea you know um so that was fun I made Cantonese chicken udon noodles for dinner. That was a nice easy meal. And then we went up to my dad, mum and dad's house and we played cards together and that was lovely. Had a nice cards evening. This day was the day my Hobonichi order arrived. So I put a little piece of some of the packaging onto the side as like a neat tab. I love this like really rusty, dark red, no orange, sorry, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so that was fun. I filmed my Halloween journal challenge video this day and this was my list that I'd already noted down my list of spooky songs that I wanted to include in that list so this was just and I had them like on the side of me so that I could remember what they were and I just glued it on there I also went and did this big walk around my garden this morning because there were so many purple flowers in my garden and it was just totally inspiring me. So I went around and I photographed all of the purple that was popping up in my garden and I then made all of these journal cards that look like this um, for my patrons for October. So they got a bunch of these like purple floral journal cards, which was super fun. So I did that. Uh, yeah, like I said, my Hobonichi order came in. So I've got a few little Hobonichi bits here. This was me walking around outside with my journal, taking photos of my journal outside. And this was my journal with my chicken. And this is my journal with my cat because they both follow me everywhere. Um, I Yeah, I filmed a bunch of videos. This was the questions that uh, Kia from... I'll write down Kia. I forgot to write her down before. Kia... Um, had given for us to answer if we wanted to on our Halloween journal challenge video. So I just, I had printed them out so that I could remember to answer some of them if I wanted to on the video. And then I just made it into a little pocket in my journal. This was the cute washi tape that came with my Hobonichi order. And these were the pens that, the like markers that I got. These ones, the, what are they called? Pentel touch pens. I love them. Um, I swatched them out up the top there too. I took no notes. Dang. So I didn't take notes. I'm struggling to remember whatever I did. I knew that I was cutting up a National Geographic magazine because I remember cutting this piece out and thinking it looked cool and gluing it in. And then I, had, because I had been reading that um, Still Like an Artist like by Austin Cleon, I had these like scraps of magazine after I'd cut stuff out that had words on it and I thought that I would make some blackout poetry if I could with them. And so I made this little one, which was my favourite. This says, I benefit from soup. And I obviously just wrote the word I myself because I didn't have it. It was just a tiny scrap and I loved it. <clears throat> I benefit from soup. That was my favourite poem that I made. Then this one said, I link to light and to the sea, most superb way of life. And I liked that one too. Um, then I was writing, I'd written down in my phone, in my notes app on my phone about different um, journals I want to play around with for next year so I just sort of noted that in here as well and we were eating these Hello Panda little biscuit things with chocolate on the inside and they are yummy as well I really love a good biscuit which is what we call cookies here in New Zealand in case you're American and think of biscuits as something else we call cookies biscuits 
over the page. This day, my sister and I went to pottery together. Um, Harriet, my sister, doesn't normally go to pottery. We were on a break here, so we had a three-week break between terms of pottery and in that time I'm allowed to go in and use the studio if I want to which is what I did on that Tuesday back here uh, I was just there by myself which is why I could film and then this day I went with my sister and she made this little bowl and I was glazing some things at the pottery studio um, then we went and got fish and chips to bring home back again to have a big family dinner with fish and chips so that was nice um, my niece Freya just Freya and I were looking at her little toy kitchen you know how kids have like wooden toy kitchen things she has one at my mum and dad's house and in the back of it there's like a painted on window and it has like a little bird painted into the scene and we were talking about that little bird and then Freya was pretending that it was flying around the house and so everybody in my family had to have turns at playing with her bird which she named passion fruit so um i wrote passion fruit here and this little bird here is just representing passion fruit although passion fruit is pink so don't get that wrong um so passion fruit doesn't look like this but i had actually weirdly enough stuck this napkin down and hadn't written about passion fruit like I'd forgotten that passion fruit happened this day and then when I was coming back to do the writing I was like oh my gosh this is perfect there's already I've already stuck this bird down and that perfectly helps kind of help me tell the story of passion fruit so that was a really happy coincidence over here this coffee sachet was from Laurel I'll write down Laurel she has a great Instagram um she had sent me these coffee sachets that she had picked up in the states when she had been visiting there and she would told me that they are very weak and she was not wrong my gosh if you americans know this brand of coffee is this what your coffee tastes like because that is weak as anything that is basically water um it really was eye-opening to me you guys have bad coffee i've heard that before please don't take offense american people but i have heard that american coffee is pretty poor and I have heard that New Zealand coffee is quite good. So I might just be spoiled. Um, but wow, is your coffee really this bad? <laughs> wow. Um, that was so eye-opening. Like, I drank it and I enjoyed it, but it was very weak. I've got another sachet and will I drink it? Yes, of course I will. It's free coffee. I'll drink it. But um, it was really weak and I couldn't believe how weak it was. I dyed my hair this night to light brown I didn't make the mistake I made last time which I chose a medium brown because I want medium brown here but if you want medium brown here you can't choose medium brown you've got to choose light brown because medium brown will make your hair basically black and dark who knows what dark brown does who knows but I wanted a, I wanted medium brown so you have to go light brown and I have never had that happen before uh, I've dyed my hair just countless times countless um, and when I was washing my hair dye out, I ended up getting this horrible, like, burny rash on my thigh from the hair dye. On one thigh, the other thigh, perfectly fine. So weird. Um, will I do, use that hair dye again? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I can have a burnt leg, it's fine. It's fine. Um, this was a cute little thing I made on Patreon months ago, and I finally used it. It's so cute. I love this little, like, cross-stitch looking image there. Uh, this I made this little bouquet of flowers for my for my kitchen using a, a vase that I made myself. So that was nice. It was sunny, and I did heaps of housework because my um, sister-in-law, my husband's sister, and her husband and family were coming on the Monday. This was Saturday, um, so I was doing a bunch of housework because I knew I was going to be in the city all next the next day. So I kind of needed to do my housework and get the beds made upstairs, and you know, get it all ready for them to come and stay. Um, but I had written about the fact that I was not going to bother vacuuming until Monday morning because it will be back to filthy again by Monday. We live in the country and my husband walks in in his gumboots all the time and my cat's always dragging grass and stuff. Like we just drag grass and dirt into our house constantly because we live in the country. And so I vacuum, have to vacuum like every 20 minutes if I want to keep the floor clean. And I can't be bothered, so I just decided I'd vacuum properly on Monday. Um, I had this cute little piece in my capsule, this little cleaning mole. So she is on this page, and I loved it. Um, I was watching Spy Family, so when Hobonichi brought out all of the Spy Family stuff, I had not, I didn't know what it was. 
Uh, and then I was watching, who was I watching on YouTube talk about it? forgotten the name of her channel i think she's Deasley. i think her name might be Deasley. i will find her and i'll link her but she was doing a lot of hobonichi unboxings that i was watching um and so i um she was saying that she had ordered all the spy family stuff and that she had never heard of it but she started watching it because of the hobonichi release and that it was so cute so i was like okay i'll give it a try i quite enjoy anime um Every so often I'll watch some anime and I do enjoy it and I'm right in a big phase of it at the moment. Um, so I decided to watch it and I do think it's so cute. It's such a cute little anime and this guy Mr. Henderson is my favourite. His obsession with elegance just gives me a giggle. So I put this little guy in here. I'd been watching some of it this day um, and that was that day. Next day in the city went to church. This was the time change so we went over to Daylight Saving Time or the other one. Maybe not. I don't remember which is daylight saving or which is standard. I cannot tell you. I do not pay attention. But our time changed. I was eating my toast this morning off of a handmade plate. And that felt just so special. Using my handmade pottery is one of my favourite things. Uh, we were off to the city to go to church. Um, to go to the church that's going to be our new church for next year. We're swapping churches next year. So at this point we're alternating going between our current church and the church that we will be attending next year um so we were at our new church this day and that was nice it was so lovely and uh we were chatting to some people there and I got a coffee at, and my lunch at muffin break and I always order their to-go cups because typically I won't drink it that fast but to get the deal that um I like getting which is a muffin and a sandwich and a coffee it only gives you a small coffee so I just had it to have in their regular cups no point taking a to-go cup if I don't need it and I never knew that they have a smiley face on the bottom of their cups and it made me so happy so I took a little photo of that um and this is the shop that I go to muffin break that's the one that also was doing that fun muffin deal back here same shop after that my husband needed to go to Bunnings and in the area where we go to Bunnings typically Bunnings sorry and most of you won't even know what Bunnings is or a lot of you might not it's like a oh my gosh what is the word I'm looking for like a big like home improvement gardening power tools what is the word for those sorts of shops I it's gone but I'm hoping you know what I'm talking about like it's got all the power tools it's got paint it's got gardening stuff and DIY stuff that kind of thing and I I know what they're called it's gone for me my brain um it's in this area and it's got like a bunch of shops around it so he needed to go there I did not need to go there but I saw one of my favorite clothing stores Caroline Eve they were having a sale where it was 20% off the lowest discounted price on everything so you go down to the sale section and it's even 20% off their sale price so I got myself a huge stack of clothes that I was so excited about. So this was one of the things from one of the dresses I bought. I got myself, it was a really good deal I thought. I got myself a lovely floral dress, a, another um, like a gingham dress, which I really love. I got myself a, another like a, like a florally shift dress kind of thing. A sweater and a wool coat. And then two other like knit dresses. So there was like seven things or something. And it was for $150. I was stoked. It was such a good deal. Um, Like this partial woolen coat that I'm just obsessed with was only $18. And I was so happy. I really enjoyed myself shopping there. I had the best time. And that was fun. That was very fun. My husband got McDonald's. So this was his little McDonald's sticker. Yeah. So that was that was that day. This last day here uh, was the day that my husband's family came and it started off well and then turned not well by the end of it. It went downhill very quickly. Well, not very quickly. It went downhill at around 2.30 in the morning. No people should be awake at 2.30 in the morning. Uh, I was vacuuming, like I said, I would vacuum in the morning before they came. I was making muffins and then they arrived and that was lovely. And we went metal detecting with them and things because uh, one of our nephews is really interested in metal detecting. So James took him out and we went down to the beach and that was nice. We had dinner with them and that was lovely. Um, 
and then I went to bed at about midnight only to be woken up two hours later to arguments happening which was stupid uh so unfortunately we leave this journal on kind of a sour note because honestly I don't even like thinking about this evening because it got real bad real fast but most of that happened at 2 30 in the morning so it is in my October journal for the day one of October not so fantastic a series of bad decisions barely holding my SHIT together um because sometimes people are dumb <laughs> and so this journal I'm really sad it turns out it's, it was such a good month overall a good month and it ended on such a low note for me that I hate it but I'm, I'm not the journal I still love the journal but I hated the note that we ended on it just didn't end well and I hate that I'm like finishing this journal flip through with kind of like a bleh vibe this was a little piece of uh, this is obviously you can tell what this is the pull tab um from a can but this was the junk that we picked out metal detecting they found this little pull tab and I ended up just stitching it onto the side of my page and I think it looks really cute there so we'll leave on that high note that I have put trash in my journal and it looks so cute um that is September look at us all wrapped up I can now shelve this bad boy I loved this journal I love the size of it the shape of it the squishiness of it I just love it. I love it. And I'm loving October so far as well. Um, this is October. I've got bits hanging out of it. But it's much smaller, as you can see. But I am also really loving my October journal. It is a real beauty of a little journal. And I'm so far behind in the writing. It's out of control. Um, but October is going very well. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this little flip through. I enjoyed flipping it with you guys. It's always fun to go back over all of these sorts of memories and just chat about it with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all again for my next video. Bye, friends.